Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am so pumped to dive on in to this bag from Ulta Beauty. We have new products that, uh, some of which are themed. I am very excited about this. My inner child is craving all sorts of delicious treats. We have the Fruity Pebbles collection from I Heart Revolution Makeup. I also have some other fun stuff. Alme has a new blush, a little banana powder from Maybelline. I have a weird uh, brow product liner. We have this, which is like, it kind of might be a more pizzazzy dupe for the Fenty uh, cream highlighter and at a fraction of the price, this is Lottie London. So we have kind of, you know, a bunch of new stuff to play with, but the main event I will say is everything cocoa and fruity pebbles. You guys, I am such a sucker that I bought this because honestly, it wasn't even that cheap. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Uh, come on, you guys, this is cute. Is it cute? It's cute. It really, really is getting on my nerves how much this is making me want Pinkberry with Fruity Pebbles on top because that is my personal go-to fave. I'm like, you know, we're doing it. It's yogurt, it's dessert. I don't want fruit on there. I want the like crunchy pretend fruit that's probably not good for you at all, but tastes so good. Fruity Pebbles are like my favorite, okay? Now you know that is like my treat. I love me some Fruity Pebbles. And just like, honestly, I can kind of like smell them if I'm thinking about it, which, oh my gosh, have you guys ever realized that if you think of a scent, like not just think of a taste, but if you think of a scent, you can actually like go, like think of it, think of how Fruity Pebbles smell. And you're like, you can remember how something smells. Does that not totally trip you out how the human brain works like that? I get tripped out by that kind of stuff all the time and then I'm like, oh my gosh. How am I doing that? And then when you actually smell something, you have total recall of like a memory and you're like, I'm transported 15 years back. It's high school, I can remember the prom. Okay, it's trying to smell like a bowl of cereal, but it smells kind of like a sour candy, not gonna lie. These colors are super ridiculous bright. Okay, let's crack into this one. It's a little bit reminding me of bugs for some reason and it's making me have funny feelings. I don't know that I like that. It's, it's trying, it doesn't smell very good. All right, so these puppies right here are $22 each. This is more than the Wet n Wild palette. I will link that video below. Um, This is, it better be good. We're gonna swatch it, we're gonna see. Ooh, okay, I like that. It was supposed to smell, none of this smells. What in the heck? This is like a rainbow highlighter. I don't know, you guys, I'm more of a modest gal and I don't know if this is gonna be the kind of highlight for me. Well, well I guess, oh, I guess it does kind of, it's kind of green. It's a little golden green. I don't know, it looks like a mess now. Like look how junky that looks now that I did that. Okay, hello. I do also have red uh, blueberry lip oil. Okay. Oh, it's one of those. Do we feel like we're a tween again? Yes, I do. I used to love these. Oh my gosh, is that spoiled? What is this? It smells like a dirty sock. I'm not even exaggerating. I am not putting that on. Why does that smell? Ugh. It smells like feet. I hate feet so much too. Ugh. I'm like honestly weird about the smell of feet and feet in general. Like it's one of my weird things. Okay, I know, I get it. Most people are like, yeah, like feet are weird or like, I don't, but I like take it to a new level. I'm like, just don't, like I can't even like watch a commercial with someone's foot in it without like losing my appetite. Like if I'm eating, I'm just like, I, mm, I can't, I cannot. I cannot, it's a weird thing that I have going on and that blueberry is not, Blueberry, okay, let me just make clear. I don't know if mine went bad or what, but that smells rotten, okay? I'm afraid to smell this one now. This is the Wilma Cherry, oh, okay. Ooh, wow, we are having a NyQuil moment. This smells like the essence of illness. Uh, staying at home, add in a little Vicks vapor rub and we got the full blown thing. Wow, okay, so this is kind of a strikeout moment. Shoot, okay, here's the last lip item. We have a gloss, come on. Let's just, please, Cocoa Pebbles gloss. 
Okay, that smells so good. This does not smell like cocoa pebbles, but it smells exactly like a scratch and sniff cocoa sticker. Once again, if you know, you know. Scratch and sniff stickers. Woo wee! We're gonna go for it. Ooh, oh, oh, well, whoops, shoot. Okay, the applicator on here is nice. I love this. Oh my, I did not think, I forgot that I got the lip stuff and I did not think I would like that that much. Little bit of the stringy thingy. Not bad. Okay, so I think I, what I wanna do now is pop on a little bit of non Fruity Pebbles new makeup. I'm gonna pop on a little bit of blush. I have this new guy from Almay. This is the Healthy Hue Blush in Pink Flush. And I thought this was a cream at first. This was actually sent to me and I am happy they sent it because I would have never bought this and I really like it. So I just wanted to pop this on and show you guys a really kind of pigmented, beautiful blush from Alme. Are you kidding me? I totally just put on way too much. As I'm like, this is amazing. It really is, I promise you. I just, I'm using a different brush than I usually use. What did I just do? Okay, this blush lasts on the skin a long time. It is not normally that pigmented. She got a little aggressive. So let's make this a teachable moment. I have a clean brush and I'm kind of just tapping this out and blending it out slightly, not aggressively. And I'm gonna go over it with a little bit of powder that will usually take down some of the intensity. If you overdo it with your blush, which does happen to me because I like blush. And also blush usually fades pretty quickly so you don't have to worry too much. Okay, we're gonna take this banana powder. It's a really finely milled, super thin powder. I have not tried this, so let's have faith that this will work out. Get on top of it a little bit. There we go. This actually matches the lip so nicely. I feel like very monochromatic right now. I also wanna let you guys know I am wearing the Wonder Brow on my eyebrows right now, or the wonder, the, which one is this? The wonder skin, the microblading brow. It's that tint that you put on, you spray on the spritz and you wipe it off. I will link below a video where I try it out. I am loving this product. Honestly, I almost don't have to do my brows when I use it and it takes like 30 seconds. It is so fast. I really love it. So I'm gonna put a little bit in my brow just to fill in a teeny tiny bit in a moment here. But I just wanted to show you guys, I've continued using it and it is so convenient and nice. And then when you wash your face at night, it doesn't last for a very, very long time, but it lasts long enough that when you wash your face at night for a few nights in a row, you just feel like you have just a little something extra. You don't feel so washed out because I have no eyebrows. So usually when I wash my face at night, they go, the lashes go, everything goes. And I'm like, ah, like where'd my face go? Like I've kind of disappeared and brows are so important. So if this stays on like this a little bit with like zero makeup on, it is so nice. Random side note, I just really, really like it. Okay, this powder is really nice too. Let's go ahead into the Cocoa Pebbles highlighter. I'm just too scared to use the Fruity Pebbles one. We're just gonna go in here and see what happens. Yeah, that's nice. Mm, it's a little textury, not my absolute fave. I believe this is like 10 bucks. Honestly, you could probably get better done from Maybelline or Physician's Formula, but it's cute that this is part of their collection, so I will give them that. A little up the brow. We are glowing, we are glowing. Okay, let's get into the Cocoa Pebbles palette because I just don't know that I want to do this one. Let's do a little, let's get a little dangerous here and do a little swatches. Let's see, okay. So the first one is Betty. This is Sweet. Mm. Spoon looks super pretty if you were to do that kind of um, like neon all over the lid or in the inner corner, more of like a summertime kind of a color. A little chalky, but that is a nice color. Then we have Pebbles. 
bowl. That's pretty. Whoa. I kind of want to wear something like that. I don't, I don't know. Rudy. Okay, that is a nice pigmented, bright, neon-y red. Ooh. Okay, that one's nice. We have red, milk. We have water buffalo. It's like a navy blue. Mm, that's not that great. Cereal. Mm, copy. Okay, that one's nice. Hello, if you need a good teal, look at that. Yabba Dabba Doo. Okay, that one is actually super nice and super rich. These are packed pretty tight. There's not much kickback. They're kind of firm. That's like a hazy iridescent purple. That's called Charge It. Then we have a, an orange called Wilma. Slate Rock. That's a nice pink. And Bedrock. This is the last one in here. Surprisingly good. Okay, there is some, wow, I am a bowl of Fruity Pebbles, am I not? Okay, so now that I have swatched up this side with so much color, let's go in to the palette that I am eyeing because I'm a sophisticated woman. I like neutral colors and themed out collections, okay? The sophistication stops with it being like super neutral. What can I say? Let's just give this a try. Let's go into flavor. Okay, we're already like, we are starting out strong. Crispy, I lied, burny, okay, maybe, I'm not really sure. Snack, ooh, okay, caveman, not bad. Cocoa, okay, I'm liking cocoa. Do we like cocoa? I'm, ooh, look at that shine. Okay, I'm liking cocoa, Stone Age. That is actually the first metallic I have touched that is so soft, quite nice. Okay, so far you guys can tell which one I am enjoying. Lifelong Pal right here, Rice, let's get it right there. That's like a nylon from MAC kind of a shade. Um, chocolatey, this is a deep espresso matte brown or wanting to be. Wishing it was like solidly pigmented like this over here. Okay, this is why we like trying things out. Puffs. Wow, okay, puffs is gonna be the inner corner dream today. Bam, bam, oh, bam, bam, oh my gosh. Okay, that's not bad, not bad. Club, also, wow, super soft. The texture of this palette is a little bit different than the Fruity Pebbles. Quarry, rubble. Chip off the old block. <laughs> okay, that is beautiful. Rocks. Oh, that's terrible. Family. Ooh, that one was nice too. Okay, ooh, this is this one is swatching so nice. I'm not upset about it. Wow. I think what I need to do now is scooch the camera a little bit closer, wipe myself down, and we'll get to eyes. I am so mesmerized by this product. I'm gonna highlight my highlight. We're gonna do highlight on highlight on highlight just so I can show you guys. Um, I dropped this one, it broke, uh, no big. I was able to kind of pat, pat, pat it back together and it seems to be upset but doing okay. So we'll leave it at that. These are kind of like a cream, cream powder hybrid. I like taking both of them together. This is from Lottie London. Um, I will list everything below and I'm gonna take my fingertip and just highlight my highlight just to show you guys. Ooh, if you want a strong, like, ba-bam kind of a highlight, this will get it done. It will get it done. You will glow. If you're, like, are we still into that? Do we want to glow? Glow, glow, glow? Or are we, like, sometimes I'm over it, I'll be honest. I'm just kind of selectively pulling it back, you know what I'm saying? It's just my mood. It's like my fall time mood this year. It was unexpected, but it's what's happening. What are your guys' favorite fall trends right now? What are what are you into? Are you into, are there any like trends that are really super big right now? I honestly feel like I'm just drawn to things that are simple and crisp. Now, uh, let's actually get into the eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in with Barney first. When I go in a little bit louder with shadow, I do genuinely love using these. I'm 
gonna take the excess and just buff the outer edge. This ended up being a pretty pigmented brown. This is Barney from the top row. All right, so that's the first lay down of color. I'm going to kind of emphasize the outer edge. And I'm gonna actually pull a little bit more toward my nose. I don't always do this, but it can be nice um, to lengthen your nose. Not everyone wants to do that. I have a pretty short nose, so I actually like to sometimes make it appear a little bit longer. Like I'll even take the contour down a little bit just because I feel like I have a very short, like kind of flattened nose. So this is a nice trick sometimes to just kind of pinch that area right there, depending on the kind of color you're using. If you're using a brown that's not too red, I find you can um, utilize this technique. So I'm gonna go for it. See, isn't that nice? All right, so I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm gonna dip into family. I'm gonna start on the outer edge and swipe downward toward the lash line. Up into the crease. Like it. I'm gonna take the shade Rice and go right in here in the inner corner. Look at that. That's pretty. I do like it. Okay, I'm gonna go back into Barney and just redefine the crease a little bit. I think this is looking pretty. I wanna go into Rubble. I'm gonna do a little spritz on my fingertip. Ooh, okay. And I'm doing kind of a back and forth thing. I am gonna take actually the shade Chocolatey on the outer corner to deepen. And then I'm gonna give it a little bit of a wipe down and take the excess just slightly through here. And let's do the lower lash line. I don't always do lower lash line, but I'm kind of feeling it right now with this smoky look. So I'm gonna go into Barney and I'm gonna look up and just blend for a good minute. I always like to take a completely clean brush if I'm really smoking out the lower lash and then further kind of push the color around back and forth, back and forth, back and forth to really give it a diffused look. Diffuse up here too. All right, I'm gonna move into a little liner and I really wanna try this Joa Maker Jealous Gel Liner. I feel like I've tried is this brand new? This was sent to me, but I've been back on my judging eyeliners pretty intensely game where I'm like, I just wanna find one that is super amazing. You guys have had some good recommendations, keep them coming, but this looks promising. Make her jealous black eyeliner. Pretty good. I'm gonna take a little bit on the outer corner here. Tiny little bit. Okay, I'm gonna pop on some mascara. This is new from Alme. This is all the benefits, blackest black. Uh, side note, this mascara is really nice. Like this is nice mascara. Wow. 
better than I expected, you know? I am going to pop on a little lash and pull the camera back out. All right, you guys, this is the completed look. It is sophisticated for the kind of palette that it is. And I did pop on some big, bold lashes. These are not drugstore, but they are an indie brand. So shout out once again to Chandelier Lashes. I'm really into this brand right now. This is the style Sydney. And yes, they're quite fluttery and long, but I think they go with the look. Now, this is the kind of eye look you could do with many other palettes out there. You don't have to purchase something like this, but I did want to explore, play, try, test, swatch the Fruity Pebble collection. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What do we think? I'm not the biggest fan. Maybe it's just me. I wanted to like it more. I think $22, I expected a little more pigmentation and it just, it didn't wow me. I know, it, like, eh, I haven't given like a, I don't really like it review in a hot minute, but the packaging is cute. It's not terrible. It's just a little up there in price, in my opinion, for what you get. And the colors, you probably, you know, if you're a makeup collector, lover, you probably have similar colors on hand already. The scent is not that apparent in the palette either. I was kind of expecting for it to be more scented. I just, I wanted a little more fruitiness. You know what I'm saying? And then the oils, oh no. The scent on this, absolutely not. The lip gloss, so cute, smells great. Beautiful color, very, very shiny. I like it. The highlighters, so, so. This mascara that I tried out from Alme is incredible. Look at that lower lash. It went on like a dream. I didn't even need to do the lashes, but I kind of wanted to because this was a more smoky look. The Alme blush, if you don't pile it on like I did on accident, I assure you it is so easy to blend, smooth nice color, just nice. I just really like this. I, I've been reaching for it a ton, so I wanted to put it on in action. Beautiful tone in here, buildable, all that. And then I have to say, I'm gonna play around with this Maybelline banana powder a little more because it's that silky texture, but it has like a little bit of pigment to it, which is really quite nice. The Lottie highlights, I do love. Be careful, they will break if you drop them. The Joa Jealous Liner. So, so, not as rich as I thought it would be for a gel black liner, but I'll play with it a little bit more. And that is where we are. I did not use this guy. I will pop it in a giveaway upcoming. I'm gonna do something over on IG pretty soon. So uh, that's how we'll save the day with me not testing this one out. And there you have it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments below. What was your favorite thing I tried? Do we like it? Do we not? Were you a fan of Fruity Pebbles or Cocoa Pebbles? Leave your vote below. And I hope you go and have a good one, whatever you are doing. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I love you guys so much. And I will see you all in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Mwah.